Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. On WKYT News Now at 5, it is the third armed robbery near or on UK's campus this month. Police are still looking for the latest set of armed robbers who stole a woman's backpack this morning. Police are looking into another armed robbery that happened about an hour later. It could be connected to a robbery near campus. Details up next. Also this morning, Olympian Oscar Pistorius has been sentenced. We'll have those stories and more breaking news as it happens coming up on WKYT this morning. Good morning to you and welcome. It's good to have you along with us on this Tuesday as we get this new day off and rolling. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Thanks so much for being here. Really. Big change in the weather compared to this time last week. Well, that's right, and it's uh, cooler, and uh, we anticipate uh, an interesting week ahead. Pretty good week, all in all. Here's meteorologist Micah Harris in our first alert weather center. Hey, good morning, guys. Right there in the 40s and 50s as we continue to go throughout the day. You see these numbers here on the screen. You're not going to see those really rise that much. So you have 53 in Lexington. Look, our high is 56. So you can see what you're going to feel outside once you walk out the doors. Pretty much what you're going to be feeling all day long. It's going to be a chilly day in store. 52 now in Danville, 40s down south. First alert defender live radar, nothing on it. Maybe a sprinkle or a little mist over toward the eastern zones. And I think that's where we could have that slight chance of rain. So that's why I'm holding most of us staying dry. And uh, temperatures there in the mid 50s. Throughout the next few days, we stay in the 50s and 60s. And then we get a big blast of warm air as we head toward the weekend. Weekend looks phenomenal. And I'll show you how high we go coming up. Micah, thank you. We are first going to some breaking news this morning. A South African judge has delivered the sentence for Olympian Oscar Pistorius. Pistorius has been sentenced to a maximum of five years in prison after having been found guilty of culpable homicide in the shooting death of his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp. Steenkamp was shot and killed on Valentine's Day of last year. Throughout the trial, which lasted about seven months, Pistorius has insisted that he shot Steenkamp thinking that she was an intruder in their home. There was no minimum sentence for the, his charge. We'll have more on the story throughout the morning. Stay tuned for updates on that. The UK campus was on alert this morning after an armed robbery happened near campus about 2.15. This is the third armed robbery either near or on UK's campus this month. WKOT's Victor Puente is live from the scene of the latest incident that happened. Victor, what exactly uh, went down? Well, Rebecca, police tell us a woman walking along this road was targeted by two men who forced her to the ground at gunpoint. Now, that woman was walking here on Scott Street near Broadway when she was approached by two men. Police say that they both had guns and told her to get on the ground. They took her backpack and then they drove off in a dark, co dark car that she described as a box style vehicle. Now, she wasn't injured and was able to run to Newtown Crossing Apartments where she called police. The suspects are two black men in their 20s. They were clean shaven, both wearing black hoodies. They were last seen driving toward Limestone in that dark colored car. Live in Lexington, Victor Puente, WKYT. Police are looking for suspects in another robbery that happened just about an hour after that robbery near campus. Police say they think the two robberies could be connected. WKYT Sean Moody is live now to tell us why they think those two robberies could be connected. Sean, good morning. Oh, good morning, Bill. Police say this robbery happened a little over an hour after the one over on Scott Street. They say the suspect descriptions in both cases are similar. Around 3.45 this morning, police say two men with guns approached a woman as she was walking into her apartment at Stony, Book, Stony Brook Apartments over on North Mount Tabor Road. They say the men took her over to a dumpster and put a shirt over her head. Then they say the two men stole the woman's cash, her keys, and her cell phone before getting away in a boxy black car similar to the one over on Scott Street. So again, police are looking into the possibility that this robbery is connected to that one. Again, they say this description the description of these two men is similar as well as the description of the car they got away in. Live in Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. Sean, thank you. Family and friends of a murdered Pulaski County woman gathered to pay their respects and say they hope the vigil will help other victims of domestic violence. Last week, the body of 34 year old Monica Wells was found dumped in a sinkhole, badly beaten. Police say her boyfriend, Johnny Hendricks, is responsible for her murder. And last night, the community came together to reflect on Monica's life cut short. And on the issue of domestic violence, women there shared their own stories of abuse. October 1st, 2013 is a day that I will never forget, a day that I survived. Love should not hurt, and it definitely should not kill. 
Hendricks, who has pled not guilty in the case, will be in court tomorrow. A Madison County couple facing charges after police say they took a child's punishment too far. Police arrested Julio Valaderas and Linda Richmond. Both have been charged with criminal abuse. Police say the couple forced Valaderas' six-year-old daughter to sit in a chair for several hours a day and limited how much food she could have. Police say it was a punishment for accidental bedwetting. Neighbors tell us they can't believe the charges. God forgive me, but I would have never in a million years thought that Linda never. Police say someone took the child to the hospital with medical issues and social services started to investigate and that led to the arrest. The search is continuing this morning for an assault suspect. Police say escaped from a house arrest in Laurel County. Terry Mullins has not been seen since Friday. The Laurel County Sheriff's Office says deputies found his ankle bracelet in Corbin on Saturday. They think he could be in Ohio. Last month, deputies say Mullins hit 17-year-old R.J. Warren with a van and then drove off. They later arrested Mullins. They say he was driving drunk at the time, and police say he was the most intoxicated person they'd ever seen in their time on the force. State police are still investigating after a crash in Rowan County killed a woman. It happened on Big Perry Road in Moorhead just before 5 o'clock last night. Police say a driver was headed northbound on the road when he didn't make it around a curve and hit a tree. His passenger, 50-year-old Marilyn Russell, was flown to UK Hospital and later died there. We have some sad news to pass from the fashion industry this morning. We've learned that iconic designer Oscar de la Renta has died at the age of 82. The fashion designer was known for designing the outfits of many first ladies, such as Jackie Kennedy, Nancy Reagan, Hillary Clinton, and Laura Bush. Most recently, he designed the wedding dress of Amal Clooney, the new bride of George Clooney. De la Renta's cause of death is unknown, but he had been battling cancer for about eight years. The candidates in the 6th District Congressional race debated some current topics. Incumbent Kentucky Congressman Andy Barr and challenger Elizabeth Jensen met for a debate on KET's Kentucky Women Tonight. To the Affordable Care Act was one of the topics the candidates discussed. Barr wants it replaced with a bipartisan solution, but Jensen says it's already helped many Kentuckians. To bring down the this has been a total disaster. It's killing jobs. It's reducing hours. It's making life harder, and it's not helping to solve our problems uh, with health care in terms of cost. It's going to be an economic driver. We are going to have a much healthier workforce. Parents are not going to be staying home because they have to take care of their kids who are home because they're sick. There's going to be a lot more opportunity for health care. Barr and Jensen will debate again next Monday night at 7 at the EKU Center for the Arts. You'll be able to watch it live on the CW Lexington. Our very own Bill Bryant will moderate. Before we take a look at live drive traffic, we have a traffic alert to pass along. Right, it's in Lexington. The traffic signals at Manowar Boulevard and Darby Creek Road will be activated today. The lights were installed a few weeks ago, uh, last month actually. They've been on flash, flashing yellow before they are fully activated. But again, they go in full operation today, so keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's check how things are moving on the roads this morning, see what's happening. Here is Broadway and High, and as we take a live look this morning, things are looking clear in the downtown area. We have no reports of any major problems this morning. The construction uh, does continue on those ramps on I-75 in Madison County, so keep that in mind as they continue to do uh, work in that area. WKYT this morning is just getting started. Good to have you with us. A major bank's checking fees and monthly fees will soon be going up. We'll tell you about that increase. That's coming up in Consumer News. And it's all about the temperatures as we head throughout today, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday and Sunday. But Saturday and Sunday is totally different from what you're going to be seeing the next few days. And I'll explain that coming up.